The tragedy killed seven members of the golf team from the University of the Southwest in a fiery crash Tuesday night. One of the young victims was Carissa Raines. The avid golfer had just turned 21. I spoke with her grieving parents, Gary and Sandy Raines. She was graduating from college this May, and she had everything going for her. And for it to be cut short, it's just unbelievable. They texted their daughter just minutes after the crash, not realizing what had occurred. Every night there's a text that goes back and forth between the, the three of us. It's, good night, I love you, happy dreams. And the accident occurred like at 8, 17, 8, 19, something like that. And about five minutes later, Sandy sent that text to her. Do you think she got that text? No. The golf team was headed back to the university following a tournament when police say a pickup truck crossed the line and slammed into the school van. What's something that you want the world to know about your daughter? She was loving, caring, tried to excel at everything that she did. She was a good leader, but more importantly, I think she was a good teammate. Uh, praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, we're Krakadash. And that belongs to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. And respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity. And peace and blessing to the whole free lake of the nation of Israel, Shalom. Just want to bring out a few scriptures. You know, seeing that, you know, People are, you know, getting put to death, man. You know, whether they are our people, the Israelites, or people from these other nations, man. Death comes from Yahweh Bashar al Shai. He kills. He sends out that order for that person to be put to death, man. You see those, you know, what it look like to be Edomites, so, you know, so called white people who are the Edomites you see they received a terrible judgment from Yahweh Basham El Shai and people may say oh they was good they played sports they was a good teammate they never hurt nobody or harmed nobody that's all fine and dandy but you don't know what the hell they did in their past life and they was brought back here upon earth to serve their judgment you know Reincarnation is real and it's throughout the Bible. You know, it's in the Holy Scriptures. The Holy Scriptures talk about reincarnation, so you don't know what them folks did in their past life to receive that type of judgment, man. But I just wanted to, you know, hit a few scriptures to show you that when somebody get put to death, it comes from Yahweh Bashem El Shah. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. You know, so all these things come of the Lord, man. You know, so, you know, that's why you Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, need to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashar El Shab before it's too late, man. The doors of mercy is closing. You know, he's not the, he's not the God of everybody. He's the God of the Israelites, you know. He holds you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics and Native Americans to a higher standard, man. He's your power. He's your father. You know. And according to your ways, he's going. You're going to be judged. You know. This is why our people. You see our people getting put to death. The way they do, man, because they of their wickedness, man. 
walking after the ways of this wicked world, which just, which this world was given into the hands of the wicked, who are the Edomites. So you walking after the ways of this wicked. You walking after the ways of the wicked. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, which his ways, you know. Uh, teaches you how to go against the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem El Shah. So you Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans need to seek Yahweh Bashem El Shah while he may be found before it's too late. You know, repent. You know, turn back to Yahweh Bashem El Shah. Fear Yahweh Bashem El Shah. And walk in his ways to the best of your ability and believe on his gospel. But this is uh, Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. Listen up. I kill. And don't say I, I shake hands and I give hugs. It said I kill. And I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that could deliver out of my hand. So Yahweh Bashem El Shah is running the show. Whatever happens, whatever situation you're in, it comes from Yahweh Bashem El Shah. When somebody, when, 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 when uh, somebody uh, be born, uh, that's that's of Yahweh Bashem El Shah. When somebody. Uh, Perish that, that's come from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, whether it be a natural cause of death or uh, a terrible death, you know, it all comes from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So, you Israelites, repent before it's too late. Because that's what the Lord said right here in uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, God of Israel, not the God of everybody, God of Israel. He's the God, he's the power of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel, should be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman you know so hey man you Israelites you know seek your help about Shemel Shah while you may be found repent you know believe on his gospel you know fear your help about Shemel Shah you know so I just wanted to you know hit a few scriptures it's late night well, it's 2.40 in the morning. Um, yeah, man, I just come across that video, you know, that was like two days ago, but, you know, the terrible judgments is, is being handed out from your Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. You know, so with that being said, I'm going to end it off with that. All praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakadash. See y'all again soon. Y'all will willing. Shalom.